Hey, I'm Rob from JustTheRoad.com and I'm going to show you how to play Wacky Races, the board game. This is a game for two six. players. Plays in about 20 minutes and is published by Come On. Players play as one of the 10 Wacky Racers. Race against the other players and game controlled neutral opponents using special abilities to avoid traps laid down by a game controlled dick dastardly. Cross the finish line first to win. Set up now and players choose from any racer except Dick Dastardly. They get a car, dashboard and four power cards that are placed on their spaces face up. On top of the player cards you also add Dick Dastardly and any neutral racers to bring the car count up to 7. Shuffle the movement cards, deal 3 to each player. Shuffle the trap cards into a separate face down deck. Place the starting board out, put Dick Dastardly at the rear of the board behind the tile. A random start player puts their car next on the dotted space in front of Dick Dastardly to the right. They also get the neutral activation card. More on this in a bit. In turn order, players place their card alongside the next dotted space along on the track, alternating sides. Once all players have placed, add the neutral cards in any order to fill the grid. Take the eight blue backed track tiles, shuffle them and lay them out as the starting track. Add the gas station as the next track tile. The game comes with four other special tiles. Choose one at random, shuffle it with the remaining 8 yellowish back track tiles and lay out the track. Then add a finishing touch by placing the finish line at the end. On to gameplay which of course starts with the start player and the first thing a player will do on their turn is move their car. Players must play at least one card from their hand, any card, to move forward one space. Players can then play any remaining cards they have in their hand but now they must match the terrain type they are currently on to be able to move. For example if their car is on a purple farm space they must discard a purple farm card to be able to move forward. Special tiles and the two tiles at the back of the start grid are wild so any card can be played to move from them. When moving, you may need to move to the other side of a tile if a car is already on that space. If a tile already has a car on both sides, the tile is skipped and the player moves to the next available tile. Players can activate a player power on their turn by resolving it then flipping over the card. For example, the buzz wagon can activate buzz saw to discard up to three cards and draw that many cards. And if a player power involves moving over multiple spaces, any spaces that are full, meaning they have a car on both sides of the tile, are counted. The only space that would be skipped is the final destination space. If you're asked to randomly choose a terrain, flip over the top card of the deck. Traps will appear on the board, more on that later, but if a player moves onto a trap card, movement stops, the trap is revealed and then activated. If a player has a power to negate it, it is activated and flipped immediately. For example, the buzz wagon will flip the master rebuilder to avoid a log or broken bridge trap. If two cars are on a trap or special tile, the active player chooses the order they resolve. And if a trap is negated or activated, it's discarded. And when a player suffers the consequences of a trap, their turn ends now and they move on to the redraw step. When a player's finished all their movement, they will also move on to the redraw step, which is next. In the redraw step, a player draws back up to three cards in hand. If the deck empties, reshuffle the discard pile into a new deck. And if the player suffered the consequences of a trap, their turn would end now, otherwise the active player will move dick dastardly. Move Dick to the next tile matching the terrain on the top card of the discard pile. For example, if the top card of the discard pile is a green forest card, they move to the next forest space. If the discard pile happens to be empty, just flip over the top card of the deck. Now the special tile is still wild, Dick will ignore the gas station altogether and will not trigger traps. Dick moves on top of the tile so does not take up space for other cars movement. If Dick Dastardly is in the lead on his own, draw and place a trap card on his tile face down. Then move Dick back to the tile behind the last place racer. Now towards the end of the game, Dick Dastardly might not be able to make a legal move. In this case, you remove him from the game and he's crashed out. As usual. Play continues clockwise following these three steps until everyone has taken a turn. Then the neutral racers will move, which is skipped in the first round. There's a reminder to do this on the neutral activation card. From front to back, move all neutral racers one space forward using the usual movement rules. Then flip over the top card of the deck. Move all neutral racers currently on that terrain type one space. Then repeat this two more times. A few things. Firstly, Dick Dastardly is not neutral. Neutral racers do trigger traps but are unable to negate them. And in a two player game after moving neutral racers, move Dick Dastardly again. Play continues clockwise and the player who crosses the finish line first is the winner. And that's Wacky Races, the board game, a hand management racing game. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, share and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when a video goes live. You can follow me on Twitter, Insta, Twitch and YouTube at Just of the Rogue. And finally, find the blog at JustOfTheRogue.com. I'm Rob aka Just of the Rogue and until next time, remember, there's no need to cheat. Don't be a dick.